Hi everybody. We've been studying about the artist Paul Clay. You watched some videos last week and today I am going to do a drawing based on his painting, um, sometimes called Portrait of a Man or Portrait of a Yellow Man. Um, and uh, it, I think it's called Sanitio in um, German. Um, you can see that this painting is really um, not supposed to be representational of a specific person like himself or uh, his dad or a friend. This is a generalization um, of a drawing of a person and he has broken it into the most basic shapes. One of the things Paul Clay loved to do was use geometric shapes in his artwork. And so we can see some very basic geometric shapes in the circle that he used for the head, the square for the neck, the line across the bottom, which makes a rectangle, and even the triangle here. And so we're going to begin our drawing by doing our largest shapes. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step drawing, and you can stop the video at any time to catch up with me. Uh, we're going to keep this very simple. And we're going to start with a big circle for the head. Um, I'm using Sharpie. You can use crayon. You can use pencil. Whatever you have at home. I am going to make two lines down and one line across, which will create my other two main shapes of the square here and the rectangle at the bottom. And then we see um, a division of the circle rectangle uh, and square in our picture. So for the most part, there's a line, and I don't have to make mine look exactly like Paul Clay's, but there is a line that runs straight down and it goes all the way down to like here. You see that in our, in our picture? Here. It doesn't go to the very bottom of the page. And then we're gonna see this U-shaped line. It looks like a smile. It starts out here and comes across and up over here. And we're gonna draw a line down here and a line down here. I see another line here. I see another line here. It doesn't line up with this line, it's over here. And then on the neck, I see a line that comes across and down. And this divides our neck into several shapes here, the red shape, the white shape, the blue shape, and then the leftover space here. I see a line that goes across at about the height of a smile, like this, and I'm going to draw a vertical and a horizontal line, and a vertical and a horizontal line to make what I believe in the picture may be the mouth, not positive. Now, Paul Clay did this interesting thing with um, the eyes in this picture, um, what he does is he makes one eye slightly higher than the other eye. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna draw a line that touches here, and comes back across like this. And this, this eye is a little bit lower, so I'm gonna start here and come back across like this. And inside, I can put a circle and a circle for the pupils. There is a line, much like as if you were wearing a pair of sunglasses, a line would go out to either side of the head. And above this eye, I see a triangle. Again, if I'm moving fast for you, you can stop the video at any point to add lines and then restart it when you're ready to go. This black eyebrow here reminds me of a feather. It comes up, and it comes back down. And I see a line that comes straight down and intersects with the corner of the eye and comes over here like this, curving in slightly. I see another one that goes from here to here. I see a little yellow area designated down here. And I see a tiny sliver that comes down the center I see a shape up here. I'm gonna turn it into a rectangle and this U shape here. And I think I have drawn all the pieces and parts that I need in my picture. 
I don't know, there's a little mark right here. I, I could, if I want, bring another line down like that, just for that little spot. And I think that's it. I'm gonna stop, and my part two will be the coloring of my picture.